There we go. It should be all fixed. Yo, what's good, everybody? And it's safe to say we have another Walton Files update. We have... we we. It is very exciting to announce we have a Walton Files update. Yeah! I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. Um. So, yeah. How we all doing? Yo, what's good, everybody? We all good? Hopefully, everyone's doing good. I hope you're all doing amazingly. Uh, your boy is well and truly back. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Man, we have 40 people in chat. Okay, yo, okay. Hey, hey, everyone. How are y'all doing? But yeah, we have a Walton Files update, all right? So I'm very, very excited. All right, what's good, James? What's good, Gray? What's good, Mikado? What's good, Connor? What's good, Penn? What's good, Rex? Good, Lazy, Zachary? James, who am I missing? Who am I missing? Winter, surfing, gamer, lol. Yeah, what's good, everyone? All right, I I'm very, I'm very, very happy. Um, so yeah, um, it is pretty much uh well and truly like underway. That the Walton Files is coming soon, yo. I I'm gonna be con I'm convinced. All right. Yeah, that's good, everyone. What's good? Oh my god, there's so many people here. How are you? I'm doing good, ladies. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm a bit tired, but your boy has got some iced tea tonight. Last night we had normal tea. I got iced tea tonight, so I'm very happy. Also, my ring light is really bright, so I'm going to turn this down real quick. Hold up. There. There we go. He's like the Mr. Beast of Horror. I wish, dude. I wish I was like Mr. Beast. But in today's stream, we're going to be talking a lot about the Walton Falls. But also, uh, I just picked my mic out of its socket. Oh, God. Let me fix that. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be talking about uh, the new teasers. Um, about uh, Walton Falls. Because, uh, I'm going to just get them up on screen really quickly. We've got this one, uh, which was sent to me by Discord. Obviously, uh, I talked about it the other day, but it's obviously meant to resemble Rosemary, Ed, and Molly. Um, but yeah. Okay, let me read chat. Hold up. Okay. What's your thoughts on the Paranormal Activity franchise? Uh, I haven't watched it in a long, long time, dude. But I remember, uh, I remember, um, I, I remember watching it and enjoying it. Uh, iced tea. It's peach iced tea. Yeah, it's it's banging. It's so nice. It's so good, dude. <laughs> um. What else have I missed? Uh, da, 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 da. What's your favorite horror film? You know what? It's actually changed more recently um, because of... I went to go see Late Night with the Devil. I loved Late Night with the Devil. I gave it a 5 out of 5 on um, on uh, Letterboxd and a 10 out of 10 just normally. So, yeah. Uh, what update? Where is it? I'm going to show you the update, dude. I'm I'm the dude who will create the update. All right. So, as y'all know, um, on Twitter, on okay, this is gonna sound pretty bad, but on April Fool's Day, from where was it? It was someone's account. It's got like Brighton something. I think. I swear, Martin reposted it. I follow them anyway. Let me go to my channel or my uh thing. Hold on, follower. Following, ah, da, 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 da. it was called like uh, I, was he called uh, Brighton something? It was called like Brighton something. Hold on, Brighton, the Walton Files. Hold on, it was something on that. Let me try find the account because it was an account called like Brighton something. Um, so actually, I might have posted about it. Hold on, that probably uh, there's probably a screenshot I posted. Yeah, here it is. Uh, the Brighton Club. Hold on, here it is. Uh, Brighton Club. Hold on, let me look that up. Anton Brighton Club. Uh, am I being stupid or something? Hold on, hold on. I'm stupid, hold up. Yeah, but I, it, this was the teaser anyway, right? This was the teaser. Um, As you can see, 
So Walton Falls reposted this. Martin reposted this, right? Now, what you're probably thinking is, Carl, this was on April Fool's Day. Obviously, it's not going to be true, right? I don't think episode 6 is uh, the true... Uh, I don't think episode 6 is the true release date. But I think episode 5 is going to come out on the 24th. Um, and you're probably thinking, Cal, why would you say that? Like, why? Like, why Why would you think that? But, basically, I think it's the fact that we've gotten... How many teasers in the last, like, few days? Or, like, few weeks? Or, hey, that's... One, two, three... Four. So, in the space of, like, three weeks or so... Four weeks or so... We have, like... Five, six teasers, bro? So... I'm a, I'm nearly convinced, especially from like the shots of these, that shot right here. I'm I'm nearly a hundred percent sure episode four or episode five, sorry, will be finished in the next few weeks, and I think it's gonna come out on the twenty fourth. Um, oh, let me read the chat. Uh, by the way, Cal, what do you think of the Wonderland TV show and the teasers? We can see that TV. There's a TV show called Wonderland, uh, and I'm really really confused. Do you have a theory of this? Uh, I think that's purely just there for a uh sort of like what's the word a uh a nod to this wonderland i don't think that's going to be like too big at all i think that whole uh wonderland tv teaser in like the late night television teaser is purely there because of the fact if you put all of the actors first letters of their first and second name it spells missing because you have like maria isador for i am you have like uh, Sarah Salvador or Silver Sarador with SS. Then you have Ivy something for it's like Ivy Neil for I N, and then you have Greg like Greg the dog for G. So it spells out missing. I think that's just to do with that. Uh, what is another one of your favorite analog horror series? Is probably Vita Carnies would be up there. I'd say Vita Carnies is pretty good. Um. But I'm not too sure. There's a there's a load about it. I don't know. Um I personally think that the Wonderland TV show isn't really Yeah, I don't think it's important. I think it's just there to be like a uh Steven Salvador, that was the dude's name. Um I I think that was just like a nod to Wonderland, like I don't think that's meant to be too much. Um does Felix always come back? I don't know, probably. Rose will probably watch it in episode 5. Yeah, it'll probably be like a little snippet in episode 5. I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, theories floating around in my head about what's going to happen. But it's going to be all about Rosemary. Let's be real. We all we all know that. Because, um, nah, the Boozoo costume, the first part of it is arriving today and then the, the rest of it's arriving on Monday. Um, So it's like, when you think about what, one two three of the four teasers are all centered around rosemary can we just talk about that sha for rosemary we have probably we've ed and molly's room with sophie there but that is i don't care what anybody says um that is uh obviously meant to be sha and then ed and molly so it's obviously gonna be rosemary and ed and molly let's be real roses are red yeah the Walton Falls 6 for the 2nd of May. What's significant about the 2nd of May? I don't know. Um, What's your predicted episode 5 release date? Probably the the end of the month, I reckon. Will you be eating waffle fries? They don't do waffle fries in Ireland. We don't have them here. We just don't have waffle fries here, I don't think. So I've never actually had them. Um, So I, I think we'll get the Walton Falls 5 probably by the 24th, as it says here. But the dude obviously had sourced the Walton files on YouTube, and obviously there was nothing here. Unless there's something hidden, maybe. I highly doubt it. Um, we also had, obviously, that teaser of Rosemary's legs, um, which is obviously like, oh, that, that's, that's not real, that's not real. Oh, the car crash happened on May 2nd? That'd be cool, actually. That'd actually be really cool for him to do that. Um... Uh, no, I, I think, right, I think 
Martin reposted this to like um basically j just to throw people off to basically say oh yeah it will come out this day it won't uh oh, excuse me i think episode five actually will come out on the 24th i think it will well i'm confused i'm actually curious to see um if this dude still has this post up um because someone said they changed their name to something to lee hold on lee uh brighton uh brighton club or something on there brighton club something like that yeah or elliot sorry uh does he still have the post up i wonder uh, uh Ro yeah and uh, rosemary that's the hd bunny farm scene interesting cool uh what's there okay what's this uh remake coming out at the end of the year scott cross and the the walton files they're remaking the series obviously that's the uh the april fool's joke but yeah there was a load of there was a load of information actually released on april fool's day but notice how very unbelievable this one is compared to how believable this is. You know that sort of way? So, I don't know. But I, I want to I wanna see what the comments were. No link, no believing. Yeah, April Fool's. April Fool's joke. But yeah. Also, the, the link to Rory as well, the new character. That's the other partner. Um, Yeah, Rory. Yeah, this dude. I never done a video on it. But yeah, this. This is Rory. Uh, he was the partner with uh, Elliot. Uh, or not Elliot. I got mixed up with Elliot here. Um, with uh, Jack and Felix. The leg thing is fan art. Still, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, if it's fan art, God only knows how bad it's going to look when Martin draws it. You know that sort of way? But yeah, I want to see that image. What image? Which one? This one? Do you reckon that's from the series? Do we reckon? Because that looks a little bit too Walton Files, if you ask me. There is no Rory. I mean, I don't know. Like, that's the thing. It could have been an April Fool's joke, but then again, like, you just never know. Like, I, I didn't think it was real. That's why I never done a video on it. But this, um, this thing here, this teaser here, even if it is, um, even if it is so-called fan art, if that's fan art, dude, all I'm gonna say is God only knows what it's gonna look like in, like, actual Walton Falls art. Yeah, I'm sort of way. Uh, but yeah, obviously, Martin's uh, April Fool's joke was the Walton Falls 5 was la like, you know, was lost. You know that sort of way? I don't know what you are saying to go up. I, I don't know what you are saying to go up for. I don't know. But yeah, um, obviously, that's the teaser we see there. Um, but yeah, no, I feel that the, the Rory one was obviously an April Fool's joke. That, that's why I, um, the April Fool's jokes, I was like very hesitant to make a video on, but the teaser, I was like, like the Rosemary Legs thing, I was like, regardless if it is like, um, I don't know, regardless if it was a fan art, you know what I mean? Regardless, it could still be real, you know? I don't know what you are talking about. Gelix? What's that? What What are you on about pregnant bond? I don't know what you're talking about. Brighten the sheep image? I've done it. I've brightened uh, the sheep image here before. And nothing really came of it. Yo, what's good, Ivan? How you doing, man? But yeah. um, I'm nearly 100% certain that we will get... um, We, we will end up getting uh, the Walton Files... um. Please watch the Sonic. T I've I've already seen a Sonic analog horror. I posted a video on it ages ago. Um, but yeah, no, I'm nearly 100% convinced that we will get the Walton Files on the 24th. Uh, but definitely the end of the month. 
Like, there's no way Martin's going to post this, right? This one. And if we go to episode 5. Yeah, like, they had a, a month ago nearly, right? This Was there an actual, like, can I click on when this post was actually updated? Is there, a, is there any way of checking when this was actually up up uploaded? I don't know. But even regardless, right? No, okay, you know exactly what I want to see. I don't know what you want to see, to be honest. Um, But yeah, uh, as you can see here, like three weeks ago, nearly a month ago. So, yeah. So, in six days, this will be a month ago. They had 21 minutes of episode 5 completed. And they were adding uh, some good few bits to finish, right? And that was last month where he openly admitted he didn't work uh, that much on it. So, when it comes to this, in a month's time, how much can they actually produce? Probably a good bit. Probably a good bit. So... I don't care. I'm nearly convinced we're going to get it at the end of the month. I, I guarantee you we get it at the end of the month. I bet you anything. I, I guarantee it we'll get it at the end of the month. And if I do, I've already predicted the FNAF 2 movie and gotten it right. Just saying. I've, I, got, I called what's going to happen in the FNAF 2 movie so far. As of now, I've called it. I'm going to just say it straight up. I have a question. Please ask the question then, dude. If you have a question, ask it. <laughs> um, there was a teaser of Charles, Felix, and Susan doing a toast of beers. Uh, and Ava uh, told us that Rory's hand is in there. Um, there is a post Martin deleted in his Twitter showing an image of Bond grabbing and choking Rosemary. I highly doubt there was because I probably would have seen it. Unless it's real, if it if there was one, do leave it in my Discord. You know, I'd 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 like to see um I'd like to see it, but I highly doubt it. Um, did you play uh, Did you play Rotten Flesh? I don't know what that is, dude. I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, I called the FNAF two movie. Um, I made a theory video a while ago on the FNAF two movie. Um, if we go, actually, was it was it that one? No, I don't think it was that one. What was it? What video was it? It wasn't that video, anyway. Um, as I remember, it was really graphic. Uh, I have archive only a small part of it. But yeah, I I don't think there's a Rory, by the way, for anyone in chat. I, I highly doubt actually Rory exists. Um, but yeah, here it is. Um, two months ago, I said obviously it was meant to be filming in I'm July. Terrible which we know it was meant to be filming in July, and then it got pushed back. However, I ended up calling that Mangle would be in it and the toy animatronics would be in it. Because I need to find the timestamp. So if y'all are set... Yeah, here it is. It's actually right on the timestamp. So yeah. Just... Yeah. But they have said that the toy animatronics are being worked on. Now they did Oh, really? Are, are they being worked on, maybe? If I... If I if I just have a little explore here to Jason Blum on Twitter, just a just a small little uh, look here, and have a look a little bit down, and I go, oh, that, that that's Toy Bonnie, ah. So yeah, I'm gonna just say that. Um, hold up. Uh, da, 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 da. Bond's voice. Yeah, exactly. I remember Bond's voice actor saying there was no Rory. Uh, I'm making bunny farm in Minecraft. That'd be sick. Also, I don't think Bond is jacked. There's just too much evidence point pointing towards Jason Pooltrick. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna... I bet you anything it'll be Jason Pooltrick. Uh, you know what I just hope? I hope it's not a, uh, the Cyberfun console. If that makes any sense, right? Like, I just hope it's not a tampered, uh, Cyberfun console. As long as it's not that, I'm fine with it. I don't really mind if it is. Uh, like, if it is Jack, if it is Jason Patrick. But if they go and tell us that Felix ended up tampering with the Cyberfun console and that's what made Bond go and go, you know what, I'm going to kill everyone. I'll be fuming. And if you're wondering why, like, Cal, why would you think of that? 
Because realistically, if Bond was some killing machine, why wouldn't he kill people during the birthday parties? And and specifically go after the workers and not any of the like uh uh like not any of the um the customers. If that makes any sense. Because it was almost like um Bond targeted certain people. That's why I have the whole theory of Felix and Bond are working together. But um I just I just hope that it's not uh, the Cyberfun console. Uh da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's not Jason. I don't know. My guess is Jason, but you know, you never know. Uh, making bunny farm in Minecraft. That'll be sick. I believe your theory that it's a demon Felix summoned. You never know. I, I, I don't know. See, my guess is going to continuously be Jason Portrick because it just leads to him being it. But then again, I don't know. Um... Do we know anything about uh, Sarah Evelyn besides she wrote Little Bond's Neighborhood? I don't think she's that important. She just might be a, a writer they paid. I think Bond is new. Uh, Martin supposedly posted a wanted poster for a guy named Daryl years ago, but not many people saw it and still know what that was. Well, we do know that the story has been changed. Uh, we do know the story was changed at some point. Uh, what if Bond is no one, just some outside uh, entity that's not connected to the Walton family or anyone who knew them? Uh, I highly doubt it because it would be so weird for them to just go, you know what, it's someone you've never seen before. Plus, it wouldn't have nearly as much of an impact on the viewer. Yeah, sort of way. Like, imagine, like, imagine with FNAF. Like, do you remember the whole thing with Springtrap? And when it was revealed that purple guy was Springtrap, and everyone was like, yo, no way. You know, sort of way. Because we had all the teasers of, like, oh, there's actually someone in Springtrap. And then we found out by the end of the game. Um, it was the uh, purple guy. Search the game Rotten Flesh, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not just gonna search up on Google Rotten Flesh. <laughs> I don't think I'll get a good result. Yeah, I don't think the Cyberpunk console because it's not advanced enough to go for specific people. Yeah, but then again, like to make animatronics that advanced in the first place to actually have facial recognition is also pretty advanced. So you just wouldn't know. Um, I think Jack is possessing Mr. Snow. Yeah, I think Mr. Snow will come into it at some point. Uh, I think he's going to be the show bear replacement. I believe it's Jason, Friday 13th, lol, but I really want it to be Jack Walton. I don't want it to be Jack. I really don't want it to be Jack. Um, my guess is William. <laughs> uh, I really I, I really wish show bear, wish show bear was canon uh, because it would have been perfect if he was Jack. I think it was set up. I think it was definitely uh, shed up, or set up for uh, Jack to be Showbear, but I don't know. It was confirmed that Jack wasn't possessing Showbear. Yeah, I know it wasn't. It was confirmed that he wasn't, but it was almost like everything that led to Showbear was almost symbolizing Jack, if that makes any sense. Um, my guess is that Hard Nude 101 is actually the person possessing Bond. You'd actually be correct. I actually am Bond, little did you know. I'm little Bond. I'm that dude. It's obviously the news reporter in Spectacle. <laughs> that I, I wonder if that's going to come into play. I've always thought Spectacle will be actually like a scene. Because I've, I've said that before. Spe I have a video on that. Spectacle is definitely going to lead into episode 5. Um, we, all, we know there's a spirit in Bond, so it won't be the console. Yeah, we know it's a spirit, but like... There's never, like, I'm never going to say never to a theory. You know what I mean? Like, with the Walton Files, it was the same with FNAF. I remember back in the day when there was, like, so many FNAF theories. You're not just going to say, oh, wait. Unless there's actual evidence, like, going against the theory that's fair. But, like, if, um, if you literally go, oh, that theory's stupid. Like, you know, I'm never going to call a theory stupid unless there's actual hard evidence to go against it. Um... He is canon, he's just replacing Mr. Snow. Yeah, no, um, I'm, that was the whole thing with Show Bear because I made a theory on that with the, there was like a bear hanging from the ceiling saying goodbye, Sophie, and stuff like that, so. Um, I think it's a part of Felix that died in the crash, perhaps, is alcoholism. I don't know. I, I think Felix is definitely one of the most underdeveloped characters in a way. But then again, you can say the same with Jack because we don't know anything about him. Um, uh, I want a Bond U2s. I will do anything for a Bond U2s. I, I want the makeshift plushies. I'm eagerly, 
very well patiently waiting for the makeshift plushie to come out um by the way who is shadow man is he uh shadow man's felix uh and is shadow man evil or good we know that bond knows about shadow man uh yeah shadow man is felix by the way if that if that clears up anything uh talking about a, a steam game called rotten flesh i don't know what that is so i'm not too sure toy cheek is william afton only real ones will know that meme uh, I want a Bond plush. Same, dude. Shadow Man Waltons me when Jack Waltons the files. <laughs> uh, he said Show Bear spins the two characters, but it'll probably still not be Jack. Maybe the other side will see. I mean, I saw a lot of people saying that Show Bear was Jack split into two spirits. That Show Bear was the good side of Jack and that Bond was the bad side. Because we know uh, Jack had like a uh, anger issue problem. Uh, and the fan fa favorite Gregory is a robot. I'm... I I, you know what? I actually give up with Security Breach's lore. I, I give up with it. Uh, Shadow Man being Felix. Yeah, it, it is confirmed to be Felix. Shadow Man is confirmed to be Felix, by the way. That's not me just saying, oh, it could be. It's actually confirmed that Shadow Man is Felix. I want the Billy plushie. Man, let me get the uh, plushies up real quick. The plushies are sick. The plushies are also, can we talk about this plushie real quick? Can we just talk about this one? An 18-inch catnap plushie. You best believe that will be in the back of my office. You best believe it. But yeah, there's the Mr. Snow poster, by the way, if anyone wants to see it. Um, da -da 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 -da. I want to make sure of all these theories, like Jack sacrifices himself to, be bo to Bond, gets trapped in the tapes, Bond and Felix make a deal. Could you imagine if every one of my theories aligned in some way that I just predicted them all, but I just said them in the wrong order? Could you imagine? Um, I wonder what the other side of so bit of Showbear is. I mean, Showbear isn't canon, but Mr. Snow is by the looks of it, and I guarantee you that's how he's gonna look. Um, I think one is Cyber Telly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Open it, please. Uh, no, I don't. I I I'm, I'm saving myself for the new Bendy game tomorrow. Um. Uh, Jack would sacrifice himself to get Ed and Molly back. 100%. 100 million percent Jack would do that. Is Shadow Man the other person that was in, uh, in the room that was when, after Susan was killed? Um, I believe so. That That's what my whole theory was. That, um, do you know, the way uh, I said that, like... <sighs> let me see. Hold on. What was I saying? Uh, Shadow Man, yeah. I said that uh, that's why I think Shadow Man and Bond are working together. I don't know. Uh, do you believe that episode 5 will come out on uh, 24th? Yeah, I do. Even FNAF... Wait, hold on. I'm... Even FNAF AR had better lore than Security Breach. <laughs> uh, new Bendy game tomorrow. I can't wait. Yo, Molly Walton in the chat. Yo, what's good? <laughs> Bro, you would be the map part of the Walton Falls. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> if you if you haven't if you haven't uh, come across my channel there, uh, do, do do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Um, what's the name of it? Uh, da, da, da. I just hope they don't mess up the story by doing something silly with it. I don't think they will do something silly. I think they have multiple people on the Walton Falls team that will have something very um, what's the word? Something very uh, like smart and stuff with it you know play among us no i ain't playing that game <laughs> have you ever noticed that in little bon uh is an animatronic too you can see his blueprints in episode two his head in multiple places we can that is true that is true that is true shadow man was in episode four when you see susan inside of Barney heavily breathing yeah you see uh someone walking around also in lacrimosa if i go to the walton files and we go to lacrimosa uh, Shadow Man is in Lacrimosa as well. If I got a Lacrimosa at the end. From the multigrain. Of course there's a Cheerios ad. Um, hold on, let me have a look at the... Uh, what if episode 5 doesn't come out at April 24th? Then I will cry myself to sleep. Um, I unironically had a dream that Bond was driving down the freeway to an FBI database. Honestly, it could be canon. Uh, why is Cyber Telly appearing so much like he appears once in the Mysterious House for three years, doesn't come back, and now he has his own plushie? I mean, I predicted it. I predicted TVA would come back, and your boy got it right. Um, 
wish there was a film theory video about the Walton file as well. I think about I have 20 videos. I have a whole playlist. So if that, you know, if you want to go check that out, it might, it might, it might be good for you. Um, Half and half AR is uh, Laura's a deleted fair. Cal, is Showbear uh, the one from Bunny Farm who tries to help us out? Yeah, uh, Showbear is like Funtime Freddy Bear. I always compare him to Funtime Freddy because he looks the same. Um, I think it's just impossible to guess who Bon is, what we know right now. I mean, you could kind of um, you could kind of put into perspective of the Lucky You teaser with the whole um, answers will be given eventually, like... Don't try to st solve the story with only the pieces you have so far. I guess you could go with that sort of stuff. 71 viewers, I know. Y'all are amazing. Thank you all. I love you all. Uh, Cal, can you explain why Bon is blue and but not green? It's really confusing. I don't know. Maybe he just got, you know, messed up with his coloring. Or, I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't like green. Uh, I mean, it's what, uh, what FNAF did with its story. After FNAF 4, the story just became bad. I just hope it doesn't end up doing the same thing with the Walton Falls story. I mean, technically, after FNAF 4, we dug deeper into a new FNAF story. So I guess I get where you're coming from. The FNAF 1 to 4 story will always be peak FNAF, though, in my opinion. But then again, in my heart, FNAF ended at FNAF 6. Um, Hey, did you play Garten of Banban 6? We don't talk about that game, bro. Because I don't like Garten of Banban. <laughs> No, I my uh I, I just don't think I just don't like that game, I'll be honest. There is film theories about yeah, they have uh they have like base like the basic theories about like who the family and stuff like that. It was all like before episode four came out. Um Uh I played Garen of Batman six and it's straight up broke. <laughs> well Fall season two seems good so far. Well, funny fact Um we only know that we're in season one right now. We're only in season one, and there's three seasons. We are going to be eating good. Um, who do you think this is scarier? Bond, Pumpkin Rabbit. Uh, I, I was going to say Pumpkin Rabbit. I don't know why. Oh, it's because I saw another comment. Uh, Bond, Pumpkin Rabbit, or Mortality. Uh, Pumpkin Rabbit is scarier because we actually see what he does, and Bond, I reckon Bond would get uh, slapped up by Pumpkin Rabbit. Um, new FNAF lore is confusing. Oh, bro, don't get me started. I'm leaving. All right, see you later, man. I appreciate you tuning in. Hey, yo, what's good, Piotr? How you doing, my man? FNAF 6 is the perfect ending. I can't lie. That's facts. I was like, I really like your pops. Bro, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I sometimes wonder what FNAF storyline would have been like if the games ended at FNAF 4. I, I'm happy it didn't, but I would have wished they went more along the lines of... Um, uh, I, would have, I wish they would have went less sci-fi. Uh, yo, what's good, Rick? What are your thoughts on Sally Face? What's Sally face? <laughs> the only... The one thing that's coming to mind when you say Sally face is the character from, like, The Corpse Bride. I don't even know why. Uh, I want an official release of Bunny Farm and Arcade Machine. Facts. I would have it, like... Um... Three seasons? Yeah, facts. Um... Uh... The, 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 the hot take FNAF movie is made. Uh, probably after watching it 10 times, I can agree. <laughs> uh, Glitch Trap is peak, though. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't like, uh, I don't like, uh, uh, Glitch Trap, I'll be honest. I still have the action figure because I, I, I think he looks cool, but I, I just don't like the lore behind him. Like, the whole thing with the, um, is it the, like, the, the, the circuit boards? I don't, I don't like that whole circuit board thing. Oh my god, I love Sally Face. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, bro. Uh, it's epic. Have you ever, uh, it's epic. I mean, it probably is epic if y'all are saying it is. Have you watched new Ghostbusters movie? I haven't. I haven't, I'll be honest. I need to catch up. <laughs> is there any big evidence for uh, Jason being Bond yet? Yeah, there's a lot. Um, if I go on to Jason Pool Trick, I'll just look up Jason Pool Trick and I'll, it hopefully comes up. But basically, there's loads of images like these. Um, uh, like this one here. Uh, it's kind of under this, but this image here, like as you can see, is like very similar to how Bond looks. And um, this was from ages ago with Fazbear. I was about to say Fazbear Entertainment. With uh, Bunny Smiles Entertainment, or Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Uh, that was a photo. It says Bon. That was a photo on um, 
a uh, on jackwalton.com. Like, there's so many. But what I mean by Shadow Man appearing in Lacrimosa is this scene right here. Wait for it. So this is the same scene as um, in the actual Walton Falls. I'll try to play them at the same time, can I? Oh, I'm missing a lot in chat, sorry. What I missed, I just joined. Uh, S Q Z Triple uh, I. Uh, we just talked about the Walton Falls uh, with the certain things that are coming up. Bond is secretly possessed by Bond. Oh my god, mate. Pro possibly. Carl, what do you think of uh, Bond's eyes being green but not yellow? I don't know. Maybe he just likes green all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, I like Lift Trap's design, but I don't like the lore of FNAF Yeah, that's pretty much my exact opinion as well. Guys, I'm at McDonald's. Uh, can I have a, a, a mayo chicken burger, please? <laughs> uh, who is Jason? He's a, a previous, oh, uh, like, I'm guessing a previous investor. I Was he was he Bunny Smiles or was he Cyberfun? I'm trying to remember. Because... Uh, Jack and Felix were either BSI and Cy or Cyberfun, and then Jason was the other one. Um, bro is a number one Garrett and Bam Bam fan. Hey, I respect that people like Garrett and Bam Bam. Everyone has their own like tastes and stuff, you know. Uh, only reason I don't think Jason is Bond is that Bond has clearly been shot through the mouth, but Jason died from hearing uh, from hear problems. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, maybe it could just be the fact that we know Jack had a gun, and maybe Jack was like, La, nah, 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 let me just go and kill this. But yeah, let me try and find the same scene as Lacrimosa. Uh, Glitch Trap has such a good design, but mid lore facts. I think the next episode of Walton Falls is going to be about Rosemary's death. Yeah, it seems most likely everything is centered around either Shah or Roses. You know, it's, just, it does, it's leaning so heavily into... Um, uh, Rosemary being like the main character, kind of like how they done with uh oh hi how you doing? uh with how they done with um Susan in episode four. But basically, the scene I'm on about is this scene. No, this one. Where is it? Is when she puts on the mask, right? This one. So all I want to say is listen to the sound effects at the same time, right? Just listen, okay? When she's in the suit, just listen. Do you hear that sort of breathing? And and again, if we go if we play a little bit further, we see this sort of area, right? We see this sort of area. You got a lacrimosa. We hear that same sort of breathing. And the banging and stuff. However, we see, if we go back frame by frame, that is a shadow figure. And we go here. Another shadow figure coming in and out of frame there. So, yeah. I, I definitely feel that they're the same scene. And that is, um, that, that definitely is, uh, the Shadow Man. Uh, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, Burn Trap is not William. I mean, it's his corpse, though, no? I don't know. Rosemary equals Billy. Oh, maybe, dude. <laughs> Help Wanted 2 is incredibly mid. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Help Wanted 2. Um, the, the first ending is so lackluster. I mean, like, yeah. With Help Wanted 2, I didn't like the ending, but hey-ho, that's just me with FNAF nowadays. I don't know. I don't like the games as much. Uh, Lucky you is so confusing because apparently the tapes are real uh, in the universe. Um, so is Lucky you a real tape or just for us to see? I feel like it's... Um, Lucky you is definitely one of them ones where it's like, it could be um, canon, but I don't think it is. I think it's an unlisted video for a reason. In my opinion, that that was that would be what would I what I would have anyways. Just call me Squeezy. All right, bet perfect. <laughs> uh, Jack Walton is Sophie. Honestly, I I, I back that theory. Episode four basically confirms Felix isn't Bond. Yeah, no, it's it's one hundred percent not Felix. It's but Shadow Man is Felix, so we know that anyway. Uh, I think the rocket puppet is for Sophie to possess when they kill her. Um, nah. <laughs> um. 
Burn Traps Corpse is some dude uh, Vanny killed, I think. I don't know. I feel like it could be uh, Afton's. Remember I picked predicted help on a two I do remember that. That was hilarious. I couldn't believe you predicted it, by the way. Okay, Pop Goes or Five Nights at Candies. I've played Five Nights at Candies. I haven't played Pop Goes. Uh, Bond has blue eyes in four. They did mention episode two that Bond's eyes seem to per be purposely damaged, torn out. Maybe they kept changing them as different uh, colors. I mean, it could be that. Um, but then again, I feel like we see so many scenes where Bond is missing eyeballs. Episode one, where we had, remember when the eyes pop out and it's clearly human eyes? We see him, like, in the relocate project episode, we see him, like, healed over and there's an eyeball out. So, I feel like there's so many different things, you know? Uh, the tapes are haunted, so the end, the spirits communicating. Yeah, uh, that could be true. Uh... Uh, have you ever seen the FNAF musicals? Oh, of course. Of course I have. Sally Face is so good. If you like the Walton Falls, you'll love it. What actually is it, though? <laughs> well, we know that Felix's guilty tape uh, is canon. Well, see, the thing is, uh, the guilty tape is very much established to be canon. Because it's Felix actually talking to the sort of... Um, like, to the people. Like, to the employees. However, Lucky You is directly talking to the audience. But then again, I swear, Lucky, you also addresses Sophie. Like, they will see you soon, Sophie. Like, safety and pills, Sophie. So maybe that was just a message to Sophie. That'd be my, like, my best guess. Um, Why was a giant Rocket animatronic in Episode 2 when he's just a doll? I think that is just how big Rocket is. Rocket looked pretty big in the opening of this, of Episode 4. Like, he seems like a decent, like, a hefty doll. You know that sort of way? I, I definitely I definitely do um feel like that just is how big Rocket is. He's he's a hefty puppet by the looks of it. Sally face? Why am I scared? Sa Sally face. What is Jack Septicite? What is Sally face? Oh I already hate it. Oh I hate it. It looks like the way how salad fingers kinda looked as well. I've i I've actually never seen that before. Is it a game? Is it a game? Seems like it could be a game. Oh, it is a game. Okay, got you. Uh, Lucky you is converted to be the spirits at the end. They say communicating to... Yeah, true. What's up? Yo, it's good cameraman. How you doing, my man? Uh, nah, he's huge in episode two. He fits in the backpack in episode four. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. See? I think it just could be this perspective, I guess. Um, Bon is giant. Yeah, Bon is huge. Bon is like seven foot six. He's like the same height as me. <laughs> um, he cried after Susan and Rosemary's death. I mean, that could like I've said we have the common. I saw someone in the comments say the theory. I know it's great. It's because I'm Irish as well, so it works. But the theory, um we have with the tears is like a very common theory so like you know what i'm saying it's it's like one of them things where you just don't know yeah i didn't know it was a game i'm not gonna creature made of clay with tinfoil skeleton that's actually cool i've never i've seen people make tinfoil skeletons um it says bond's height on wikipedia all right there. check is he like if he's six five i'll be a bit annoyed or something because he looks a bit seven foot bond see the wiki i love that uh, photo of bond by the way and biography seven foot all right i was kind of right with seven foot uh, i was kind of right i guess like kind of i love that photo of him though. the one with him um like the hat on this one i love that photo um yeah, he's seven foot. What do the black tears mean? Honestly, I do feel like they're important. I do feel like they are important. Because in every scene we've seen Bond kill someone, he has tears. Every single scene we've seen. Ex I, I, I guess you can count Brian Stells as well. Because with Brian Stells, we see when it cuts to like Bond standing like the white background, he begins to like, cry blood. Then... 
also um we also see the uh in episode two with the relocate project with rosemary's kill when the shadow man comes in we see like him go into shot like we see uh him put rosemary and shot he has like tears here <sighs> excuse me when he kills bonnie in like episode four specifically when he put when he puts uh susan into bonnie he's crying black tear as well uh, with Charles, I guess we haven't seen Bond directly kill Charles, so we can't really say. Uh, who else am I missing? With Ashley, uh, do we even see Bond with Ashley? I know we see like from Ashley's perspective, but I don't know. Uh, it's Jack. Nah, it's not. If it is Jack, I'll be very surprised. Because if I, I actually want to go on to this, is there a way to go the Walton Files? The Walton Files cast. Let's go voice actors. Because they had a meeting. Uh, they had a meeting on the sort of. Um, yeah, this. Was this it? No, it was a year ago. But basically, they had like a thing on. Um, and what was it? It was something about they had something on a like Twitch or something like a, a charity stream, and they were talking about the Walton Files, and they said like the most misunderstood character is either Jack or Sophie, and they specifically said that people think Sophie is this jolly good person. Apparently, Sophie is a really bad person, and apparently, people's opinion of Jack is completely different to what he's actually like. So. I'm intrigued to see what Sophie's actually like. Because surely, after finding out all of what happened to her family, surely she's gonna be pissed. Surely. It'd make no sense if she wasn't. Um, I'm Bond, sorry guys. Felix is Shadow Man. Yup, he is indeed. Um, Bond is interesting. He said he'd be squeamish of murder as if he doesn't want to f uh, face his actions, which is why he cries and covers his face. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It really is interesting the way that all of a sudden he's like squeamish, you know? Uh, Ashley scared me. Honestly, fair. Uh, Jack might be still alive. Somebody decrypted the file for some Fire Jack Walton stuff, and it came up with websites of titles all relating to a man being still alive. I think something happened to Jack, in my opinion. Because we see in episode 2, there's a VHS tape of the disappearance of Jack Walton. There is a VHS tape of it. So surely someone had to film it. Uh, so we all just saying that Sophie's backpack was able to hold a life-side rocket doll comfortably. Hey, I need to get me a backpack like that for school. Uh, in Bunny Farm, Charles is going to the backstage. I think then Charles meets Bonnie and kills him. Yeah, that's what I said about the um the there was a there's a photo on findjackwalton.com. Let me see if I can just go O seven fourteen. Let's see if that pops up. Because there's a photo, this photo uh, perfect. There's this photo. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure that says like I'm guessing these are toilets, but if you can see there's a black smudge on the top of this door so i had a whole theory like we went through a whole stream like decrypting jackwalton.com i think that's where charles gets killed like here i think this is a storage room or something like that so i, I think that's where he dies um make a bond cosplay in a month that'll be sick and <laughs> my dad's missing cool sophie <laughs> um cool i don't know man she seemed real chill when she heard her mother screaming honestly yeah fair <laughs> She was like, her mom is screaming at her. And then he goes, am I still beautiful to you? And she just goes, uh. <laughs> um, as she's screaming, as we don't know what Bond did, crying her face out, most gets up to a robot. Yeah, it's fair. Jack died peacefully in his sleep. I doubt Jack died peacefully. Meow. <laughs> oh god, not 0714. Oh, we don't talk about it. Even though I will talk about it. Um, Richie Radisson says that the animatronics got moved temporarily to the men's bathrooms after Susan's death. Yeah. I bet you anything that's a toilet. Because that says women on it. That photo that I just showed says women on it. Here. 
I, I'm gonna see if I can screenshot that and zoom in, but on my eyesight, which we all know isn't the best eyesight, that says women. I think. Yeah, it does. Did not mean to do that. Can y'all see that, by the way? That says the uh, W O M E N. That says women. Yeah, this is the bathroom. I I I knew it. I knew this is where Charles gets killed. I called it, man. And y'all tell me that all I do is waffle. <laughs> um. Also, Martin said that Charles is the only victim to have not been lured. Yeah, no, I I think that uh, basically my I had a I have a video on it. I think. Um, and I said that because the whole thing with Charles is that he gets killed after his child's birthday. Uh, it's in this one, this video here. It's in this video right here, that one. Uh, but basically, my my what I said was, uh, Charles was cleaning up after the party, and while he was, br he probably just went to go to the toilet or something, or he's bringing stuff to the back room to obviously store it away, and that's what he was killed. He was killed while he was putting stuff away. Um, bro, Charles is just trying to poo and then Bond butchers him. I, I, I don't, I, I can never imagine that, dude. I'll be real. Uh, wait, so Sophie was there and Rosemary gets killed? I think so. I, I think so. I'm not too sure. Carl, can you play the uh, game Ultimate Ultra Custom Night? I don't know what that is. I'll probably have to check it out. Uh, then bathrooms also next to generator rooms where do uh, Charles dies, the power's off. Yeah, because in the mini game, there's only like lit by a flashlight. Um, hold on, there's a few. Gamer boy, Rie, how do you love your content in the Walton Falls? Yeah, thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Uh, Rosie, am I still beautiful to you, Sophie? Sophie, nah. <laughs> we all say eyesight, but no one asks why sight. <laughs> Wait, you don't waffle? Nah, I don't. Charles, will get that Jurassic Park lawyer treatment. Oh, man. When he gets eaten on the toilet. Yeah, I saw, yeah, there was, actually, yeah, let me go to that, actually, the poster. Uh, where was that? I swear it's on, is it on Twitter still, or did it get taken down? Yo, KL Cars, what's good, man? Uh, what if Bond killed Jack when he was driving to the truck to the K9 facility? I hope, but I hope that Bond didn't kill Jack. I hope Jack is still out there, but I don't know. What if Charles fought off Bond the same Lily or something? I hope that's the case. And in a way, because it will make it so much more characteristic of Charles, you know? But then again, I feel like Lily would still get butchered. You know what I mean? I don't think, I don't think that Lily would escape Bond, you know? Um... In the Walton Falls team, we can hear reversed audio. Says Sophie said, "Follow me." So that that Sophie said, "Follow me." And then Rosie died. Maybe Sophie is the reason that Shao was the only one in the show stopped to call Sophie's name. The Walton Falls three. I don't know. Maybe because obviously she said, "Sophie, where am I?" Right. Uh, Jack, uh, dude, did that with a gun from all the missing people. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Jack did do that. However, Jack goes missing before Rosemary gets killed, so that wouldn't really make much sense. I found my waffle fries. I, I need to try waffle fries. Uh, Y'all think that Bond let Charles put his pants back on before getting killed? Or did he just uh, kill him while he's pooping? I reckon he let him he let him get back ready. Do not play Ultra Custom Night. It's all the UCN characters that didn't make it. Oh, and then I probably won't play it. There's a thousand of them. Oh, hell no. Um, uh, she gets distracted from looking at Bond by a uh, box falling and then gets ambushed by when she gets to look at it. Yeah, true. Yo, Zuelo, what's good, man? Uh, I don't know why, but whenever I hear K9 facility, I think of the uh, the tin dog from Doctor Who. Oh yeah, the like the kind of R two D two looking dudes. Uh, I'm assuming that Lily had already gone home with her mom and Charles to stay back to clean up and got killed. That's what my theory was. I feel that like he was because he's a he's an employee at the end of the day. He probably thought, oh, it's not too much, you know. Uh, I think Lily will appear alongside Sophie, Jenny, and Chris. Apparently, Chris isn't appearing anymore. I heard a lot of things that Chris is getting retconned and uh, that uh, Martin Walls wants to add more lore to Brian Stells, apparently. Um, what if Charles is like the introduction to mortality uh, but instead Bond instantly kills him? I hope not. But then again, it would make more sense because of the, the Boozoo episode. How fast do you think Bond can run? I reckon Bond runs on all fours. And if Bond runs on all fours, that's... Nah, I just, I just accept defeat. You know what, Bond kills Brian, he obviously had to leave the K9 facility, but when did he kill Brian? Did he go back to the facility, or... Because uh, Brian's death is, other than Bunny Farm, the most recent occurrence. Because uh, Brian gets killed, like, a week or two weeks before Bunny Farm happens. So Bond is just out in the wilderness, chilling. 
Uh, Lily could also have been going home with Charles because it seems like his dialogue. She's still with Charles when he goes to villa visit Emily. I don't know, man. Maybe. Uh, why Lily was uh, Bond's burgers at midnight. Was Charles killed at midnight, though? I don't know. Uh, he's just waiting outside the stall and Bond's like, finish wiping, little bro. <laughs> Are we talking about theories for episode 5? Yup. Brian died on the toilet. Bond was just waiting his turn. Hey, all, uh, uh, maybe. I'm excited for the Wild Falls 5. Yeah, apparently it's coming out on the 26th. Or 24th? No, 24th. 24th. Uh, Martin said the complete opposite uh, on Twitter space. He said that Brian doesn't have any depth. Uh, oh, I probably got it mixed up then. Because I remember him saying Brian had no depth, but he wanted to add depth. If that makes any sense. I really hope that Lily didn't see Charles get killed. Yeah, that'll be awful. Because Lily will definitely get killed after. I'll be back. Kratos is back in the Fortnite item shop. Uh, we all know that Brian. Uh, we all know Brian's uh, name. He's more unknown than Jack. Brian is, is yeah. I I guess. Yeah, we don't know what time. Yeah, fair. Yeah, could you imagine? Oh, let me get that up real quick. Uh, let me, imagine this dude, right? Imagine where? Like, let me get a good photo of Bon. Where? Let me get a good photo of Bon, like an actual scary. A good scary photo of Bon. I'm talking terrifying photo of Bond. Of course the pumpkin rabbit just comes up. Of course. Um, Like, could you imagine? What's this one? Could you imagine this thing running at you on all fours? Come on. You just have to accept defeat. No chance I'd want that thing running at me on all fours. Um, what if William after the Walton Falls? Oh, maybe. <laughs> nah, he said he wouldn't give any depth to Brian. He would appear as a tiny, tiny cameo in some way. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't think Bond could run on all fours because of his proportions. Oh, yeah, probably not, but it would be absolutely terrifying if he could. Uh, Brian was pretty supposed to be more prominent in episode 3. There's a video of what's supposed to happen on YouTube. Interesting. What if Charles went with Lily at the power went out? We told Lily to leave. He went on and got killed. Oh, could you imagine he was like, oh, yeah, Lily, you wait in the car. I'll fix up the generator and everything. And then he gets killed and Lily's just chilling. Oh, that'd be horrifying. His legs are massive and his arms are short. Doubt it. Oh, yeah, no, he, I, he definitely can't run on all fours. But what if he could? <laughs> uh, Charles opened the door uninvited as Charles watches Family Guy shorts on a mobile game. One He's, like, watching it. And it's, like, a Family Guy scene with, like, that one GTA uh, thing. Where it's like the car going down that like ramp. And then Bond's like, you finished, bro. Alright, one second chat. I just need to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be like 30 seconds. Do not move a muscle. I'm going to be back with more theories for the Walton Falls 5 and also the Walton Falls 6. But yeah, do not move a muscle. I'm going to be like right back. So yeah, I'll just be like, I don't know, like 30 seconds. Alright, do not move a muscle. I'm going to be right back. Yo, Bond dead ass just jump scared me, bro. I was literally sit, I was like waiting at the toilet. I was on my phone watching TikTok, and I hear a knock at the to the door of the toilet. I turn around, Bond is just chilling. I'm looking up, and I'm like, bro, let me pee, dude. 
<laughs> I'm back. I'm back. How y'all doing? We all good? <laughs> what if he doesn't come back? Well, I am back. I might just leave the FNAF 4 ambience music playing in the background. But I swear that got copyrighted. Please don't tell me that ambience got copyrighted. It better not have. <laughs> Did you see any blue rabbit uh, in the bathroom? The one without red cheeks. Did you beat him up? Yeah, I I, I hit him with a, a swanton bomb. Uh, or KO out of nowhere. And uh, bro, bro dipped. <laughs> um... Here's my theory. Charles was getting killed by Bond. Lily was uh, there in fear, but then run off already crying. Unless I mean Lily had to get a lot of therapy. Hey, maybe. Uh, based on teaser so far, I think episode 5 was a show showing Jack talking to Rose. We'll see him go missing. Derek investigate. Rose going to church and her getting killed at the end. I mean, maybe. I mean, I definitely feel that we will get the, like, the funeral. I feel that we could definitely see a funeral going on. I don't know. But then again, eh, I don't know. I see comments getting deleted, bro. I don't even know. I'm here looking at Twitter. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Um, But yeah. Also, I just wanted to say, like, straight up, uh, for those who want to see me, like, actually play games on streams, um, I will be uh, also... I might be starting to stream on Twitch with certain games. Just specific games, though. It won't be anything crazy. But I, I'm not sure yet. I might start doing gaming streams on YouTube as well. I'm just trying to get everything sorted out. So if anyone's wondering about, like, for example, Bendy and the Dark Revival. I know I was meant to stream that today. I just don't have enough time to stream the whole game today. Because I got told I have to be up at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, But yeah. Uh, do you still have Bond's corpse? Now's your chance to see you possess him. Ah, uh, he ran away before I could get the chance. He Michael Myers my ass. <laughs> I'll do some cool stuff when my Bond cosplay is done. My dad does a lot of cosplay. will help me. I've also done a lot of my own amount. And when I mean cosplay, I mean huge foam suits. Amount. Bro, I will pay you everything I have in my bank account to, for you to do a pumpkin rabbit head and send it to me. <laughs> um, bro, Bond caught up to Brian after he's running through the woods so fast. It's yeah, I'd say, I'd say Bond is rapid. I'm actually... I want us to see how fast he is. I want us to see how fast Bond is. Uh, uh, bro, it's gonna be get uh, gonna get killed by Bond in the bathroom. Rip our favorite YouTuber. <laughs> We've seen an animated Jack next to Rose. Martin said Derek will appear in the episode. A lot of teasers show Rose in the cemetery slash church. I mean, I isn't like uh, Derek the like the investigator or something, right? I hope the end of season one is everyone beating up Bond and doing a Scooby Doo unmasking, and then like Jack just goes, "I would have gotten away with it without you if it wasn't for you meddling kids." Imagine uh, when Brian's getting chased by Bond the first episode. He said, "What was that thing? Uh, shouldn't he know what the mascot of the company is? What else did he see?" That's a good question, actually. Holy, that's a great question. Oh, that actually might be one of the best questions I've got on the stream. You know. Are you going to play a new Bendy uh, game tomorrow? Yeah, I will. I, I hopefully. I, I swear, is it is it meant to be free? Is that Bendy the Cage or is that the other one? Um, But god damn, that was a good question. What else did he see? What was that thing? I mean, I suppose it could just be a uh, figure of speech. Like, do you know the way where it's like... Like, you know, let's say you get like... um. You know what, like, in movies, and, like, you see someone, like, get, get attacked by a wolf or a dog or something like that, and then they get attacked, they run away, and they go, oh, my God, what was that thing? Like, it was something they knew of, but a different attitude from, a, like, a normal version of what they should know. You know what I mean? I think it's free. Yeah, then I'll probably play it, yeah. Uh, I wonder what uh, the soul of uh, Bond was afraid of when he mentioned the ascension to Susan as he was too afraid. I don't know, man. It's really confusing because of the A or G side of it. I might just go on to jackwalton.com now in a minute, by the way. <clears throat> hey, if you could... I'm streaming. What's up? Uh, hold up. They dropped off a part of my cosplay. My granddad dropped in a part of the cosplay for Boozoo. That's what that was. Okay. 
Well, this is um part of my uh, cosplay. I can't exactly um I can't exactly open it or show y'all because it will obviously uh, ruin it a little bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that is the um a part of the Buzu costume. So yeah. Yeah, my my granddad dropped it in. Um, hold up. Uh, yeah, let me have a look. Uh, I'm eating an ice cream. Oh, I'd kill for some ice cream right now, dude. Uh, hold on. And uh, now I know why Brian says that. I think Brian saw Spirit Bond, so Bond, whatever reason to kill him, maybe Brian saw. I mean, it was his first day, was it not? Maybe he doesn't know. He just wanted an easy job. Yeah, exactly. Was it not Brian's first day he instantly sent to the facility? Is it possible he never seen the physical animatronic before? Yeah, but it was first day. Maybe he just saw, like, I don't know, some... No, actually. Because it was, yeah, if it was first day, like, I don't know. I agree, you should watch it. Watch Run Rabbit w Run. I was about to say Run Rabbit 1. Do you know that one Looney Tunes do where he goes, the Wabbit? I always mix up that, by the way. Kill for some ice cream equals bond. Nah, be ba circus baby, dude. Like, one wabbit, one. On. What is this? Run, rabbit, run. By Ghoulie. Is by, t like, two years ago? I want to see if there's anything copyrighted in it first. There's copyrighted music, though. It's copyrighted. I'll watch it mute. There'll be no music. Let's have some FNAF 4 ambience. This is FNAF 4 ambience behind Walton Files animation. Because I can't put uh, audio on it. Alright, run. Cool how it's okay. That's actually cool. Oh damn! Hey, go, Bon. Get him. Get her, Bon. Oh god. Oh hi. Oh Charles. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Right. Run, Bonnie. Run. Run. Oh the cage. I like how it symbolizes like Bonnie running from Bunny Farm. That's cool. Oh hi. Bon is chilling. Oh my god, they're in the FNAF pizzeria. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool, the shadow. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Shadow man. Shadow man, Felix! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's gruesome. Hey, that was sick, though. Like, that was actually really, really cool. I obviously couldn't watch the full thing with audio because, obviously, you know, copyright. But, yeah. Um, also, not to change the subject or anything, but has anyone seen um, the Maxine trailer? Like, bro. What is up with the Donos, Tuna, dude? Bro. You did not have to donate, dude. Bro, thank you so much for the five, dude. Honestly. That's insane, dude. Thank you so, so much. But yeah, um, speaking of the Walton Files, um, there is obviously Tuna Tan is in the chat, so we may as well do it today. Because it's technically, it's basically as good. But in Tuna Tan's uh, Chad series, which is very, very similar to... Um, the Walton Falls. Um, what is it? What uh, channel is it in, Tuna Tan, by the way? What what channel is it in? What's Terrified? I have seen Terrified, by the way. Uh, I just haven't seen... Um, I, I haven't watched it with audio because it is a copyright. 
Um, I've seen also the um, what's the name of it? Uh, the unused uh content I've seen as well. So don't worry. Yo, Piotr, I appreciate you tuning in, man. For real. Sorry, I couldn't join early. Yo, bro, it's all good. Don't be worrying. Ironically, my middle name is Maxine. Oh, sick. But yeah, Maxine is basically. Have you seen the? If you've seen the film X, like the horror film X, it's like the third one in that one. But I'm guessing it's the teasers. Is it the teasers? Is it? Is it in teasers, by the way? Is it in that or is it in the other ones? Uh, also, when we see Bomb put on the music, he is less bloody than in Wonderland. Uh, oh, wait, you're talking about the video. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about the um, teasers on. Uh, let me just. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's click. All right. Message after this short break. All right. Oh, a lovely Disney ad. You best believe that's getting me and not showing because they will definitely copyright me. Um. So yeah. Let's just slowly wait. There's <laughs> the Dono uh, alert box is always so late, dude. Always. Um. But yeah. And there we go. Right. So, message after this short break. Let's have a look. What is the problem? This big baby coconut. My wife. I love her. Also, it's like old school uh, ads. Children's favorite special. A young boy faces the challenge of his life to save the man. I'd like you to try Rancher's Choice dressing from Kraft. No thanks. I like his. Is this gonna be like that one? Um. Like the uh, the twelve man OP video where it was like uh, what is it? like the uh, advertisements and it's gonna cut to a um, to like one of the actual company advertisements maybe. You said the p word. So what I want to know is if you're drinking Coke, who's drinking Pepsi? If you can't beat it, that's the way. Coke. Is that an actual Coca that is dissed Pepsi? Old in America, you can Martin confirmed that Anthony higher. broke his arm. Is that actually fact or not? What is this? You're going to be at the very end or something? The description of the Reddit? I won't lie, I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. Tiny bit. But yeah. Nah, uh... I'm gonna go out to find Jack Walton in a bit. After this, I'm gonna go out to find Jack Walton. I, I recognize, like, the, the coke, the dude who was, like, saying... Oh yeah, true. The one that coats is the only one you need. Those dedicated graduates are back. <laughs> See them in your neighborhood while you still have one. Police Academy 4, Citizens yeah. on Patrol, rated PG. Starts uh -huh. today, April 3rd. Wednesday is Night Court ready for its new night? And on the Tortellis, Nick becomes Man of the Year. Here's your honorarium. Yeah, you have my gratitudium. Then Joe Danzig's no ordinary man. The days of the little red brick schoolhouse are over. And this is definitely no ordinary show. The Bronx Zoo, hmm. premiering Wednesday. I want the comments to say about this. Uh, oh, we have theories. Um, it was in the it was in a Q and A. Martin said Anthony broke his arm. Oh, okay, fair. That's that's fair enough then. Is Tuna Tan? Have you got? Is there a release date for Chad? By the way, or is it just like spring? So I keep it vague because obviously you want to get it like perfect. Boy, he faced the charge of his life. Ah. Hmm. 40 years ago, I'll come down to this. Happy birthday. 
Yeah, I get, yeah. So C is catching on the taste. Yeah, I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, go to the Reddit. Oh, is there... Oh, so this is obviously about Chad, huh? Chad face. And... Here it is tethered to the host of possession. Something in the living world can contact the something through uh, his spiritual auto communication box when ho hope is in the is in range. Oh, host of possession, hope. Yeah, got you. Ah, I get you now. Yeah, okay, that makes. That was cool though. I like that a lot. I do like that a lot, I would admit. However, I want to... Where's... There we go, my mic is back. I hate when my mic does that. My mic always just plugs out. It's so annoying, dude. But yeah. Yo, it's good, Axel. All right, let me let me have a look if there's anything different on Vine Jack Walton now. I'm very curious if there's anything different. The show, yeah, the show hijacked, yeah. Let me have a look here. Oh, this is the archives. Like, to expand. Oh. Oh, wait, this is, like, this all of the pages. Oh, damn. Wait. As the view can be follows. Rocket. The page of Star Reels, old doll, so many rockets are for the old doll, forget about it when you get ready. Oh, it is about that, that's the night, okay. Okay. Yeah, I can def I'll I'll cover as much as I can because I can only stream for like another maybe half hour, twenty minutes, twenty five minutes ish. So I i I'll cover as much as I can. Don't worry, I'll cover as much as I can. Uh what's this? Oh, it's a song. It's actually just... Okay, that's all, like, the... That sort of stuff. That's the archives. Got you. Uh, new wiki. Fandom, right. Find Jack Walton. Da -da 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 -da. Got the store in upside down. Hmm. Where was that one where it was, like, uh, just all the clips? Or, not clips, the links, sorry. Working links currently at these ones. Thank you. Okay. Um, there it is. Why does little Bond look so insect when Bond is not horrifying? Probably the point is like how scary he is in real life. They want to make the cartoon as like cute as possible. That would be my best like guess. I don't know. Jenny Letterson. Has it changed? That's different. Jenny Letterson had stuff on it the last time. That's different. Just gonna say that straight up. That Jenny Letterson one's different. Because look, it says Jenny question mark at the top as well. Anything at all. Do you reckon there's anything? I doubt there actually is. But like, it's fine Jack Walton. So. We may as well. I don't think I can edit it here, can I? Uh, edit and paint. Now I'll just do what I always do. I shall just do what I always do when I edit. For... Uh, I remember the last time I done this, I done it on the Wayback Machine. But the Wayback Machine doesn't let you do a lot of stuff. Uh, brightness maximum. Uh, 
okay, the, the thing just disappears pretty much. Yeah, there is nothing. Okay, got you. Interesting. Interesting how yeah, there is just nothing. Weird. Uh, Bill Bond is family friendly. Yeah, true. Uh, Jason, Jason Plum. Is there actually one with Jason Plum? Right. Surely there is one with Jason, surely. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. There is one with Jason. Bond's room. Lights, camera, action. A rusty box. That's about Susan's death, pretty much. Investigation 1. See, the thing is, right? All these ones just seem to be, like, deleted stuff. Yeah. We have some five possibilities in 26th, uh, because if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the anniversary when the company interruption tapes were first released. We can check if it was. Oh, it was re-uploaded, yeah. We actually don't know, do we? Huh. Was Anthony... Yeah, hold on. You, you said Anthony broke his arm, right? So is Anthony not a fictional, fictional character? A fictional, sorry. Fictional, not fictional. Oh, the main page. Oh, that's the, that's the one that's released now. Oh, that's, yeah, the, the, the possession stuff. Rosemary's art room. That's horrifying. I'm sorry, that's horrifying. With Adam Molly in the church. Why is that really symbolic of what? Okay, hold on. Weird. I just go down. That is nothing. Hold on. Either I'm yeah, I'm seeing something. I thought I saw something behind the anything, but I'm seeing stuff. Um, but yeah, that is creepy as all hell. I take your life. Yeah, that's uh Richie. We've seen them before. This is the the room I was on about women. Then you have the men's toilet there. I'm sorry. Something is definitely there. Yeah, no, nah, that that is a good way of like in in universe delaying the series. But like, oh yeah, the dude. Also, notice how it says birthday here, by the way. Very clearly, Lily's birthday. My name is Bond. This is the stage, right? Yeah. I don't get this one whatsoever. Like at all, I don't get this one. I don't get that one whatsoever. BT scene. Yeah, this is copyright, but this is some of the unused content. Um. But yeah, let's have a look. Um. Hmm. There's a uh, Carlito, is it? I think I don't know. Um. Oh, uh, who is that? That's Sophie. It looks like Sophie, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's Felix in the car. Yeah, bunny farm. I wonder who he's looking at there. Anyone else, like, curious about that as well? Do you reckon uh, Jack is looking at someone? Also, I prefer that look of Bond here. I reckon, I think Bond looks ten times scarier here. Um, my name is Boss for the Scares. Uh, can I just update the Discord teasers? Alright, bet. There's Showbear. I think this is where the map was, right? I'm I'm not messing, right? I think some of the unused content is actually scarier than the real stuff. In my opinion, some of it. Yeah, look, 94%. What does the 94% mean, Cal? Surely it's to do with the actual episode, right? Yeah, look, that that's depressing, isn't it? That's really depressing, isn't it? Walton Files 5 and 6, both meant to be releasing in February. So who knows? Maybe 5 and 6 could release on the 24th and 26th. Who knows? I doubt it, but if we look a little bit further... Yes, sir! Season 2. Alice in Wonderland with Carlito. The goat. This is all like the... The archive, the Wayback Machine stuff, right? Yeah. Have you seen this man? A clip of uh, Deadpool. 
Yeah, look. Behind the smiles. I swear if you brighten this up, though, you can get more stuff. I remember brightening this up. I swear you get something else. Because I was, I was like, it's, uh, to me, I swear if you brighten it up, you can see it, uh, episode 7, though. If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. If you brighten it up. Uh, it, something's there. I think, I think. Oh! Oh, hi! There is something there! What the hell is that? Oh, is that... That's Bond! Oh my god, that's Bond covered in blood, chat. Yo, that's Bond covered in blood. Uh, that, that, that's Bond covered in blood. Uh, can you even see that on stream? I don't even know if you can see that on stream. Hold on. I'm looking on my OBS. I don't even know if you can see that on stream. I can see that really perfectly on my monitor. Can you see that on stream? I can see that really perfectly on my monitor here. But it's Bond just covered in blood. I'm not even Kapu right now. Can I screenshot this and like... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to screenshot this image that I can see right here. Right in that anymore. You can't even see it on the... Yo, how could... That's so weird. Let me try and do some more editing with this. Hold up. Just that one there. Right. And I, I'm not even messing, by the way. I'm being dead ass. I'm going to brighten it as much as I possibly can. Because if I brightened it more on the last one, it was like letting it disappear. But look, please tell me. Please. Yeah, there it is. You can see it way clearer now. That is Bon. His, like, glove is, like, heading towards us. I even touch you can see it on stream now, surely, can you? Can you can you see it now? I, I don't know if you can see it now. Hopefully you can see it now. I've brightened it as much as I possibly can. But as you can see, that's like Bond's glove and his like leg is there, but he's covered in blood. Do you see it? He's covered in blood. They like completely covered it. Like that's his chest, like. That's like his like torso here. Where can I? Yeah, look with the saturation. You can see it. I think you can see it. Huh? I know it's been a thing for months. I know, I know, I know, because I've seen this image before. I just didn't. I wasn't able to make it out that much. I've seen it way. I've seen it way, 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 way ages ago on a stream we done. I just completely for. I remember there there was something there. I just couldn't remember what. Oh, hi. Oh, my God, Jack. Look. Very weird. Walton, of course. Yeah, this this stuff had nothing on it, I swear. But never mind. Oh, yeah, this is the whole uh, thing with uh, Jack. This is where we found out Jack had, like, a... Um, uh, this is where we found that Jack had a... Uh, the... Uh, uh, the... What? The anger issue. Why did it take me so long to remember that? Wait, yeah, this is after Bunny Farm. Yeah, okay, so if we start from the beginning, uh, this is obviously Jenny. This is after Bunny Farm happens. Like, why are we recording this again? You have trouble remembering stuff. My help. Makes sense. Don't know where to begin. Oldest memory. Uh, somewhere in my teenage years, inside a police station. Interrogating her about something she doesn't know. Um, She had a lot of memories with her mum. Like, there's a lot of stuff here. Rosemary, she remember her mum's name. Like, more unstable as her, like, obviously her dad went missing. Uh, most of the time I would spend with my mum, my dad was always busy with work. I uh, only thing I remember is a voice, a deep, quiet, very intimidating tone. Whenever he would speak, he'd barely ever raise his voice. Uh, like, when he, was, he had a temper. But look, when you go down here, he loved us. You know what I mean? 
But yeah. Yeah, this is the Derek mansion, yeah, the investigator. Right? Like, um That's uh they're interrogating him. Or her, sorry. He was interrogating her. Investigation one. Yeah, this is about Derek, right? This is Derek. Yeah, Detective Derek Collins, yeah. I remember this one. This is about, um... Where is it? We checked the other ones. We found Jack Walton's office. Pack of cigarettes, obviously. When we get the face of the griefs teaser, it's just a pack of cigarettes. Um... What is Jack's name? I don't know, man. I don't know. What's Jack Walton's last name, chat? Anyone know? Be cranking. Rocket Bunny. Old doll. See, I don't know if that's actually because the Wayback Machine only has stuff. I think that could be something hidden there. Jenny Letterson. Yeah, this is during Bunny Farm, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that hotel appears in Bunny Farm, right? Look at the name of the series, The Walton Files. These tapes were at some point in the hands of the police. Yeah, no, obviously. Could Mr. Snow be like the Sophie or Rocket was to Adam Molly? And since Sno S Snow Bear was retconned, he is canon. He is, he is the canon reason Sophie remembers everything. The only thing why he says goodbye, Sophie. I don't know. Uh, so we, yeah, this is what we learned about is smoking, right? Yeah. Hold on. Game said my name. Happened, playing the game, fun. Trying to help you, I can't tell you how heavy what happened. My family, I haven't seen them in years, disappeared one day, so did my father, been touchy subject. I never, I saw them again last night, that sort of stuff. Like, yeah. This is what led into the, um, like the recording stuff, right? Beautiful, right? This is the drawings, right? Again? Oh, never mind, this is her missing poster. Five foot eight. Hey, she was the same height as me? Oh, damn. Jack must have been massive then. Oh. Terrifying. This is missing. Help. I'll see you soon. Do you reckon there's anything there? Do we reckon? Anything there at all? I doubt it, because it's like the text is probably just meant to be there. Maybe. Maybe. Let's have a look. You just never know, chat. Never know. Brightness up. Highlights up. I don't think there is anything. Yeah, there is nothing. Alright, that's alright. If there's nothing, it's chill. Uh, That's obviously Jack Walton's page with the Have You Seen This Man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always found it weird why Boozoo's there. I've always found that really, really weird why Boozoo's there. I'll be honest. Never really found that, like... Huh. Does that bring me to anywhere? Whoa! Wait, why haven't I seen this before? Uh, sorry, why haven't I seen this before? Hold, hold on, I've never seen this before. Did you forget about me? Huh? Hold on, I've never seen that before. That looks like Jack. But it looks like Charles at the same time, you know? Because obviously the hair and stuff. Like, hold on. If I look up Charles. But. Because there's an. Yeah, this. That's Charles. That's a teaser. Like, we know that's a teaser. That is the same. Like, the same dude. That is the same dude. That's Charles, dude, 100%. The only thing that throws me off is the smoke. That's clearly, like, smoke. I don't know. 
That's what I mean. It looks like an amalgamation of Bond and Charles. Because of the smoke and stuff. I don't know. I've never seen that before. I've actually never seen that before. What the hell? That's, that's so cool. Same page. Same one. Oh. Um. I don't like that. I'll be honest, I don't like that at all. I don't like that. 52 captures. Alright, let's have a look. I didn't know the Wayback Machine done this. Oh, that's okay, I just managed to go to some. That was weird. What was that baby thing? That looks like the baby thing from Souvenir. This looks like the Souvenir baby. Remember that video of Souvenir? We see like Bond hanging up stuff. This one? Where is it? Where the hell are you? Here, this one. Join the no, I will not join the adventures of Barbie. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like the baby at the end of Souvenir. I don't know. The weird of like the did you forget about me? Like, would that be would that be Lily talking to Charles or would it be Jack talking to us? Which it wouldn't make sense if it was Jack because the whole series is like missing Jack Walton, so it wouldn't really make sense for it to be Jack. But then again, it could be just about Charles, but it could be about Lily. I don't know. Uh, I think in episode 6, it's going to be about Ed and Molly's death. I don't think so. Episode 3 is very predominantly about Ed and Molly's death. Same with episode 4. I just don't see it. I don't know. That's just me, though. Uh, baby is Charles. Pro it could represent Lily, I guess. Uh, go back to the main website, then the URLs on way back. Done. <sighs> Yawn, excuse me. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh wait, please go back to the main website. Done. The baby could stand in for Lily. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. It's a weird one. I hate the way Jack looks. Is that just me? Like it looks morphed as hell. I guess the point though. He was 6'2". Oh, damn. No, main page. Oh, wait. There you go. There was stuff in... was stuff in 2024. Do then. I've actually never, like, done this part of the way back. I haven't seen anything. There's two snapshots of this. This... January 13th. This is that photo. Okay, got you. Oh. Oh, so this was updated. Okay, so I wonder if Bond is in both of these. I wonder if that Bond image is in both of these or not. Reckon, I reckon it is just the same thing. Oh, Bond is in that one. I can see it right there. I can see it in my monitor. So what is up with the one beforehand? Uh, URLs for core. I'll do it in two seconds. Let me just do this real quick. Because Vaughn is there as well. Well, something changes because it says updated. So, is it the same or nah? You reckon it's the same thing or no? I don't exactly know. What do you the new Felix voice mm. actor? I reckon. I, I, I think he's good, personally. Personally, I think he's is it the same thing? I, I'll just tell you if it's the same thing. If it is, it is, you know. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the exact same thing. Uh, Yeah, it's probably just the names, is it? No, uh, the names are there. It's also there. Yeah, never mind. Uh, 
I'm confused, but yeah, there you go. There's the home page of this. Is it's Jack's face layer combined with Bond? I don't know. Maybe I doubt it though. I I like the new Felix voice actor personally. Uh, yeah, I think there's a really I think they're both really good. You know, I I feel he's a little bit like more lighter in the voice. Like he's not, as I think in Bunny Farm, Felix was very deep voiced. Like you know the way I was like, got it got it you know that you know you're on calendar what am i meant to be on then i don't know i don't know i don't know this one urls that that bro i find that the calendar is 10 times easier than that <laughs> i guess i feel like the calendar will be way easier to to, to go through I've seen the YouTube uh, channel. If not, yeah, no, the um, the sh the window, the stained glass window. That was cool with the uh, Shah and the two kids. I feel like the calendar is way nicer. Two snapshots, same thing. Us and January fifteenth, same thing again with Bon. I can see him there. Let's go through the twenty twenty four stuff. On again. Same thing again. Same thing again. Same thing again. <laughs> oh, it's the same thing again. Oh, oh, it's again the same thing. Oh, it's the same thing again. Any, any anything else? Maybe. Ah, oh, here we go. It's, it's Mr. Snap. Yeah. Right. Uh, since Rosemary could re reunite with her kid, yeah, really sad, dude. Um, Connor did a small recording of him acting as Felix in the Twitter space. Oh, fair, fair. I'll, I'll have a look at the Discord in like two seconds. By the way, Tuna Time. Don't worry. Yeah, there's a lot of things changed in 2023, I know. face. Something's new. Oop. That's what it might when they change the story, maybe. I don't know. I don't like when it shows us the same thing here. Um, weird. What was the update? Oh, we like the we went over the update like at the start of the stream. It's basically just like the the new um new teasers and stuff. Obviously, findjackwalton.com with the updates and stuff. That was like majorly at the start of the stream. By the way, all right, let's go to the Tuna Time Discord because. All right, so this is Tuna Tan's, um stuff here. And as you can see, so this is the employees only room, and that's Chad's diner. Other things here. This is obviously the character Chad. Drawing Chad's diner history tape with a nice smiley face behind it. That is a farmer character or something with uh, Chad and like the the banny stand in, I think. Tempertech. This tape is property of Tempertech Company. Only res recreations of this tape and not belong in Temper Tape uh, will result in legal action. Interesting. Samantha. Chad's Diner. Chad's Room. They have green rooms as well. Cool. Then we have some drawings. I think something's new. Oh, maybe. Quite possibly. Um. Well, yeah. Anyway, they look really good though. I'm really I'm really I think Chad's me it looks really promising. It looks really, really promising, I'm honest. I'm really excited to see how it goes. Um it'll be interesting to see. Um because obviously it will get compared with uh, the Walton Files, obviously, because um the um the what's the word? The animation style and stuff is very similar. Um 
I think episode five will have uh, things glitching and uh, not being how they should due to Rose's mental health. So I stay in glass. A sheep, we scare out of cemetery. Yeah, no, I definitely feel that. Like, obviously, Rosemary will be the main character. That's how it's gonna be. Rosemary will be the main character of episode five. Um, but yeah, that it will happen. You know, in a sort of way. So, um, when it comes to that sort of stuff, it will be Rosemary. Um, is the official Walton Fault Discord still private? I think so. I don't know at all. I really don't know. So you just like it's one of them things where you just never really know, um. But yeah, it's just one of them things, you know. It's, it'd be interesting. Uh, I watch the one falls at night because my sisters won't uh leave my something on asking my phone. That's fair. Do you find it weird how Felix had enough money to buy a war bunker and get the animatronic shipped to it all without Cyberfun knowing? Yeah, definitely. Unless there was someone in Cyberfun helping it with him. I don't know. Maybe. Please go to the first update of uh, that's just Rosemary. We went to that at the start. That was the uh, the drawings of like Jack and Rosemary, uh, with the uh, Ed and Molly in the background. Um, like she'll be walking out, and the screen will uh, glitch. We'll see everything replaced with sheep imagery. Yeah, I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. Uh, I'll I'll be really like I I reckon when it comes to the Walton Plus Five. I will not be surprised if it comes to a sort of like, oh, we'll see Rosemary in Wonderland, but um, Ed and Molly will be like mum or something like that, and Rosemary won't know who they are. That'll be terrifying and also really sad. Uh, Cyberfun helped with the bunker. We see signatures for uh, the bunker, and it's Felix, Chris, and Norman. I know Chris is a worker, yeah, but there's something weird about him. I th him and Brian are obviously friends because uh, Brian literally states that Chris said this place like opened like four years ago. I think that's the line, but he mentions Chris. Um, but yeah, Norman. I think that when it comes to Norman finds out about Susan, because realistically, if Norman is sending Felix emails and he gets no answer. Like he gets no uh, answer where she is, and um, I feel that it'll just come to a stage where, all right, we have to keep this business alive, and uh, let's do whatever we can. So I, I don't know. Uh, Chris is definitely more important than the 1978 to 82 era. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a chance Felix built K9 on top of Ed and Molly's grave. That's actually a, that's a really good, that's a really good answer actually, but I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Because a bunny farm, it's like it showed where the graves were. And no, I don't think it is. Because the graves are near the cliff. And I don't think uh, anything we saw of... Um, uh, when it, when we saw like the K9 facility, it didn't seem to be near the cliff at all. So I don't, I don't know. Um... I'll just put the picture on the Discord. I bet. Um, Chris seems to be a higher up for K9. He's friends with Richie and sends Brian to the facility. He knew everything about going on. I feel like he could have been a manager or something. Like we have Felix as the boss, and you know the way. You know the way in Richie's tapes, uh, he refers to someone as boss. Like he refers to someone as the boss. He doesn't mention Jack, I don't think, and he doesn't mention Felix, I don't think. So I think maybe when he mentions the boss, he could be referring to Chris. Oh, that distorted face. Yeah, I've seen that distorted face before. I've de yeah, I've seen that one before. It's really creepy. It's really creepy. Um, Let's have a look. Do you know how Susan's neck is broken in Wonderland because her bomb broke her neck? Does that mean Rosemary's won't have any legs or arms in Wonderland? I don't know. I don't think Rosemary will get a Wonderland clip. There could be a possibility of that. There won't be a Wonderland clip for Rosemary. I don't know though. It'll be interesting for definite. But then again, like she, like she's not gonna have no legs and arms in Wonderland, is she? I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. If he did, that would help him uh, cover it up. Yeah, for real. I don't think K Nine is over the graves though. Uh, it'll be it'll be super cool if it is, but I don't think it is. Just based on the fact of um, the whole clips we've seen in episode 2 with Ashley recording the K9 facility. I just don't think it's near the cliff. I, I don't think. 
because we see from the aspect of like pointing towards the facility and from brian stells running away we see like the like if you're going out the door of the facility there was no like like nothing to do with a cliff so i don't think so um i think rosemary will see a bunch of floating limbs i don't know maybe just like rosemary could turn into one of those uh the, you know the red spirits maybe i don't know um but what doesn't Richie say that norman is uh annoyed and wants them out uh, why would they later store everything in a war bunker yeah i don't know it's weird it's weird because in Richie's tapes it seemed like Chris is just a simple caretaker and only joined in 78, 74. He survives to go, so I guess they made him higher up since he survived. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they put him as a higher up to keep his mouth shut. Uh, she might have shown his uh, sheep or her body parts being sewn together. Maybe. Or it might just be like her like with the sheep head. The way in that one, ro in that one uh, photo with them all, in, like the family photo, and you have Rosemary, Sophie, uh, Ed and Molly both wearing sheep heads. She could just be having a sheep head, maybe. I don't know. I think Chris will be main character, but if he, uh, but he'll be hiding Felix's past. Maybe, maybe uh, Chris, uh, Chris comes in as like Felix's partner again, or something like that. When uh, Jack goes missing, I don't know. Norma is definitely going to be Norma is definitely going to be exposing Felix. I don't think so. Why would he expose a company he's an investor in? Because that would just put a bad name on his own company then as well. Who is the main character in the Walton Falls? Jack, Felix, Sophie, Bond. Eh, Sophie. I think Sophie is. Sophie's always been referred to in every episode as, like, they'll see you soon and stuff. So, I, I would say Sophie is the main character. But, like, if he says, I remember Martin had, like, a Twitter space. And he mentioned Sophie being the main character. But then he mentioned, like, someone else, like, an unnamed character. And he said, and someone else. So, I'm guessing it's Chris. But anyways, that is all the time I've got for today's stream. I checked out as much as I possibly could, and we had a lovely update on the Walton Falls with the teaser, and ultimately some new stuff on Find Jack Walton. Ultimately, just trying to get as much as the um as we can out with the Walton Falls recently, because um I definitely feel like there's some underlying stuff. However, we just don't know. It's it's definitely gonna be one of them things where uh. It's just one of them things where it's like, I don't know, man. It's going to be, uh, we don't know what's going to happen until obviously episode 5 comes out. Um, I'm near enough convinced episode 5 will come out on the 24th because that's in like 11 days. Um, I feel that you just never know. Genuinely just never know. I, I hope so. However, tomorrow I will do my best to remember Bendy and the Ink Machine. The new game is coming out. If I remember correctly, the name of it uh was let's check um uh bendy secrets of the machine now i don't know how long the game will be but hopefully it'll be decent um i'm really psyched because apparently it's free get in um <laughs> but yeah we'll see how it gets on hopefully uh it's decent Hopefully it doesn't spoil Bendy in the Dark Revival for me because I do need to play that game. I just haven't been able to get to it. But thank you all so, so much for tuning in today. We've been live for about two hours now, so I do appreciate everyone who has tuned in tonight. I do appreciate every single last one of you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do uh, enjoy this sort of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're closing in on 3.5k, which is nuts. So if you can help me out in any way, shape, or form, do hit that subscribe button. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, obviously hit that sub button. And if you are interested in joining the community, make sure to join the Discord with the link in the description below. Hope you all did enjoy today's stream. And if you're watching this as a YouTube video, hope you did enjoy as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Have the most amazing day. Stay safe and peace.